Hey guys, what's up? It's Bob Motron back at it with another video. And in today's video, we are taking a look at more Dragon Ball Pops. These are the last ones I have before I take a look at my custom ones that I've been doing. Um, but yeah, today we are taking a look at Super Saiyan Khalifa and regular base form Kale, as you can see. So if you like this, hit the like button, share, comment, and subscribe. Hit the notification bell so you guys know when I go live and when I upload all that good stuff. And yeah. Without further ado, let's set these two off to the sides, and let's start by taking a look at Super Saiyan Khalifa's box, which you can see, she is Super Saiyan Khalifa, she is number 816, she is from Dragon Ball Super, here we have her art here, there's her half head art sort of design there, 816, Super Saiyan Khalifa, that's what the top looks like with her face. Here's the side of the box with the full image, which you can see Super Saiyan Khalifa 816 again. And on the back of the box we have eight, number 812 Hercule, we have 813 Gohan, 814 Vegeta, 815 Super Saiyan Kale, 816 Super Saiyan Khalifa, and 817 817 Future Mai. Which, the reason I did not pick up Super Saiyan Kale is because she is slightly more hard to get than Kale regularly, even though Kale regularly is a new release, which here we have her box, as you can see it says Kale there, her little art, she kind of looks a bit nervous, whatever, it is number 1282, that's the side of the box, this is the other side of the box with all of the detail, and here we have the back of the box, which in this set we have number 1279, Super Saiyan Rose Goku Black, um, we have 1280 Jiren, 1281 Super Saiyan Trunks with a sword, 1282 we've got Kale, 1283 we have Shin which is one of the Supreme Kai's or one of the Kai's in general, I'm not quite sure which one. And then we have the Jumbo Super Saiyan Rose Goku Black which is a quite a mouthful for a Funko Pop but it is what it is. So yeah, let's start with Kale. Or, no, Khalifa, which, first thing I will take a look at is the base. Her, well, she comes with one of these bases, just the kind of standard single peg ones, which you can see in the bottom of her shoe there. Just, you know, plugs in, as you would expect. Though, at first, you know, first time having her out of the box, it took a bit of pressure to put it in the studio. Do be careful if it takes a bit, just so it doesn't fall off or anything, or break. So, set that up to the side as we take a look at her detailing, which you can see her face. Done with the Super Saiyan green eyes, which, the reason I say the Super Saiyan green eyes, because I have some examples of matching, which we have my in-progress um, Bardock with Vegeta's head still. Um, you can see the eyes practically match up, they're a tiny bit brighter, I'd say, in person. Then Vegeta's. Then we have Goku, obviously his first appearance from the other video, which matches as well. And we have Billy Vegeta that I took a look at, but we don't need to look at him. But you see, instead of the base eyes, we have the three eyelashes, the way most female characters do. And we've got the little um, thin uh, eyebrows, which don't look too bad. We've got our hair, which for Super Saiyan, it looks actually really, really nice. I kind of hope we get like a base form uh, Khalifa, just to see what that looks like as a Funko Pop or how they translate it as a Funko Pop. Uh, you can see her outfit isn't quite terribly detailed as some of the rest of them are. You see, it's just a bit of a pink crop top type thing there. Got her grey um, sort of gauntlets there, and then her purple trousers. Which looked to be on the baggy side, which pretty cool, I suppose. And she's got her grey boots as well, which from behind, from the front. And just because I can, I'll throw in... Oh, she can stand by herself as well without the, the base. But I'll quickly throw in the comparison uh, next to Go uh, Vegeta and Goku, providing I get this Vegeta to stand. Because, you know, it's been a bit finicky, but you can see... What they look like together and i will make a video on what the fuck this is later but you know here's the super saiyans all together very cool 
so I'll set those guys off to the side back here just so I can sort them later. And yeah, so we'll put the base back on her. Just squeeze it on, turn it around so it's beneath both feet. And set her off to the side back there. And taking a look at our second Super Saiyan, or not so Super Saiyan, we have Kale. She is still a Saiyan though, so that's something to remember about, or to think about. Um, you see her face detailing, very much, you know, very basic, but you see the eyes, they're kind of, they're not the full eye, because uh, she looks, as I said, about the box. She looks a tad bit on the worried side, because she's a bit more timid and shy, if you will. Which, overall, face de detailing isn't half bad. Her eyelashes have multiplied compared to Khalifa and everybody else's. She looks to have five there. Very interesting. Her eyebrows are significantly thinner, but again, not too badly done. She has mirroring in there on that side. She has one on that side as well. Then for this bit of her hair, it's done in that sort of normal black paint while her, you know, her hair. Uh, ponytail type thing is done in a shinier black for some reason. Not quite sure why they decided to do that, but they did it anyway. Um, you see her little hair tie there is done in a lighter grey. Then what Khalifa's um, gauntlets were made out of. Um, taking a look at her outfit here, you see we have the little gold bracers or gauntlets, which look pretty alright. Same with her shin pads and the toes of her boots. Overall looking pretty alright. She's got her little red shirt there along with the red skirt, which is the belt buckle and a bit of a brown like belt around the top of it. And she looks to have potentially like a pair of shorts or something underneath it. Down in black there. And then that same red for the rest of the boots. As you can see, that's what she looks like from each angle. Not not. And then um for some reason, they've decided to give her one of the flight stand type um, Funko Pop stands. The only other pop off the top of my head that may have one is, um, I don't even know who. I know, I know Falcon has one, and I think Jennifer Walters has one as well, but still. Don't quite know why they gave her one of these instead of, obviously, the same one that Kale or Khalifa has. But, you know, because there's enough, there's enough room down beneath her feet in order to plant one, but anyway, what can you do, what can you do, um, but yeah, because I did a comparison with Super Saiyans, let's take a look at my previously reviewed, um, non-Super Saiyan Goku Vegeta for the sake of doing so, which we have Driving Exam Goku, which is in a previous video, along with Badman Vegeta, which as I said, is in a previous video also, which, you can see how they look, she's her skin tone's a bit more, like, tan, if you will, than Goku and Vegeta. They're pasty boys, so what do you expect? But, yeah, that is going to be it for those as well. So, bring Khalifa back in. Here's Kale. And, yeah, for now, um, that is going to be it. Um, I might see if I can pick up Super Saiyan Kale somewhere, because they do also do a... They have a fusion called Kefla as well, the same way we have Gogeta and Vegito for Goku and Vegeta. But um, we have Khalifa, not Khalifa, Kefla as a fusion, which I might be able to pick up as well. So if I do, I'll pick up Super Saiyan Kale here, or well, the Super Saiyan version of Kale, and the fusion as well. So for now, though, I'm going to continue working on my customs video where. This very badly done Vegeta body is coming from. But yeah. Thank you very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed. If you did, be sure to hit the like button, share, comment, and subscribe. All that good stuff. And I shall see you guys soon with something else. For now, goodbye.